Hey, what's up everyone? This is your boy, Neil Gonzalez, Weather X 45 and we are doing another lesson of, of the Regents Earth Science Plotting Epicenter Worksheet. So, we already started from what we, what we went with CETO. One minute and 50 seconds. And our distance to the epicenter, determined from travel time curve, was 1,200 kilometers. Basically, it's 1,200 kilometers. Now we had to solve for Denver. We had to find the distance to the epicenter to determine from the travel time curve. So in order to do that, it says, just like we did the same thing like with CETO, you go to your reference table from your Earth Science, go to pages 11, always page 11. And when you do that process, you'll see that it'll show you the earthquake P wave and S wave travel time. It's actually a graph to show you. It shows you the epicenter distance, which is 10 power out by 3 times from the distance for kilometers, for the epicenter distance, and for the travel time is actually minutes. Now, I want to let people know to understand this process. For this, the travel time, minutes. Every second you go from each minute is always 20 seconds because for example, zero, so you're going from zero, from one minute, zero, 20, 40, 60. Now let me give you a perfect example. Think about the clock, 12 minutes. So 12 minutes is always 60 seconds, so remember that. 12 minutes is always 60 seconds. So that will be your, um, that will be your um, comparison for the travel time in minutes. Now. The epicenter distance it always counts by 200 kilometers now here's proof to show you why now look 0 200 400 600 800 1000 200 400 600 800 1000 boom because you're skipping two times in a row Think of it as, uh, as counting 20 from 2. So when you count 20 times 2, that gives you 40. So when it gives you 40, you want to subduct that number times the radius of 10 from 3 kilometers. And that will always give you 1,000 kilometers. 200. Let me show you again. 200, 400, 600, 800, 1,000. So always, if I was you as a student, I would rather write 200 kilometers for the epicenter for each line how much it costs for 1,000. And I will always put 20 seconds for each minute. So let's get this process started. So Denver. City, Denver, difference in arrival time of P waves and S waves is 2 minutes and 30 seconds. 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So... We're going to use a scrap piece of paper, and we're going to place zero. So you're going to put it like this. Slide it like this so it's easier for you. Like this. Slide it like that. I'm going to go, let me go a little down. So this will be zero. So look. I put zero, a little zero, right here. And the reasoning why we have to do that is to find where the P waves and S waves meet together from the distance, the difference in time arrival of P waves and S waves, which is two minutes and 30 seconds. That's the reason why we have to place zero. So two minutes and 30 seconds, where the hell is that at? Well, let me show you. So. We got one minute. Now we're two minutes. So it says two minutes, right? Now we're going from 30 seconds. So we're going from 30 seconds right here. 20, 40. 30 seconds is in between. So what we're going to do is put a line and put 0, 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Just like that. Now the final process is 
we do the same thing. Slide it to see where the P waves and S waves meet. So you're gonna slide it and keep sliding and keep sliding and keep sliding until you find the answer. Boom! Here's proof. They're actually meeting from the S waves and P waves. So then what you're gonna do is put a line. So, so we already know that it always counts 200 kilometers from the epicenter distance. So count that line that looks right here. I don't know if you can hardly see it. Right there, that little lightish light that came from here. And you're going to go down and count 1,000, 1,200, and 1,400. And that is your answer. So you're going to put 1,400 kilometers. Get the process now? Let's do the same thing with Houston. Or should I say Hudson? Sorry. Because I always think that the U is Houston. Sorry, my apologies. <laughs> Alright, let's start with Hudson. So, four minutes it started. That's easy. And here's the reason why it's easy. Look. Same thing. We need a scrap piece of paper. Four minutes. Where's four minutes? You look at the travel time minutes. One minute, two minutes, three minutes, and four minutes. Okay, so remember, before you do that, always place your zero. Really important. Always place your zero so you can find where the P waves and S waves meet together by finding the difference time travel. Remember that. I repeat it again so you can, so you can know and understand. Now you're going from four minutes. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four. Four minutes. So you're gonna put four minutes. So there you go, four minutes. And now you're gonna slide where the P waves and S waves meet. All right, so then, where you find it, where the P waves and S waves meet, and you're gonna put a little line. I'm gonna go like that. And there you go. And that answer is 2,000 kilometers. And as you can see, that is your process. Hope you guys liked this video. That was the lesson from the Regents Earth Science Reference Seat. I'm not supposed to do these because um, this is actually my homework. Just to give you a tip of how to do this process, if you're studying for the Earth Science Regents about plotting epicenters, peace out.